Hey guys, uh, this is Dooley. Uh, in this video, we will continue talking about the file system module in Node.js. Uh, today, we will be talking about a couple of functions that will allow us to write data to a file, but with some more flexibility than the couple of functions we've seen before, uh, which are the write function and the write sync functions. Uh, with the write and write sync functions, we could write data to a file that we have a file descriptor to. So the file would have needed to be open first and we have access to some file descriptor to that file and then write data and then we would be responsible to close the file. Uh, with these functions uh, write file and write file sync uh, you have flexibility to use a path to the file uh, which is a, which could be a string it could be a buffer uh, that represents that string or it could be a file descriptor so this file could be open or closed we can still use uh, these write file and write file sync functions to uh, uh, to write to it the data we can provide could be a string or a buffer. So as you can see here, I'm initializing a, a, a string here uh, with variable name data. And I'm also initializing a buffer uh, with some string here with uh, UTF-8 encoding. Uh, the options we can provide. The options could be encoding, flag, or mode. The options could actually be a string. If it is a string, it is uh, specifying the encoding. By default, the encoding will be UTF-8, the flag uh, will be uh, W, and the mode will be some octal number that represents, <coughs> excuse me, that represent uh, the security to the file, and that security by default will be uh, the owner of this file will be able to write and read uh, uh, to the file. All right, so let's go ahead and use the synchronous version of this function to write some data to this file. All right, so now the synchronous version will return undefined, so there's no need really to uh, create a local variable that will receive anything from that function. So let's just uh, do that here. So write file synchronous, provide the path, provide the data, and uh, let's say we do nothing else. Let's see what will happen. So let's run this. What do we get? Let's look at this. Okay, so it's writing the data to a file. So the data we're writing is this is written from a string. Alright, so that's what's going on. Now the flag is W by default. Now let's say you wanted to actually let's run this again and see what happens. So so we ran this twice and we still got uh, just one string in here. Okay, which means that uh, we're not appending, we're actually replacing the file entirely. Okay, so now let's say you wanted to append. You can provide the flag for appending. Okay, so now let's run this function. And as you can see here, the data is being added uh, at the end of the file. All right, uh, another thing uh, I want to show is that uh, this can also be a buffer. All right, so I'm changing this to the buffer we've got here. Let's run this again. Now you can see that it's telling us this is written from a buffer. Let's run that again. You can see that's what we got right here. All right, and that's because the string we've got in the buffer is saying that. All right, so this is how you would uh, do it uh, synchronously. Not much of a difference compared to asynchronously. The difference is that you'll be providing a callback. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. FS that write file. Again, we'll provide the path. We'll provide the data. OK, 
Okay, we know about the flag, so let's get the callback, which will receive an error if there is one. <coughs> so we always want to check for the error. Okay, for the message. And if there is no error, we can say data written successfully. Okay, so let's go ahead and run that. It's telling us that the data was written successfully. Now let's look at it. You can see again you are completely replacing the file because your flag by default is W. Now let's change that and see if that will work for us. Okay, so let's run again. Let's see what we're getting. Alright, string and uh, just for the sake of uh, being complete, let's use a buffer here and see how that will work for us. Run that. Written successfully. And now the data is. Uh, this is written from a buffer. Run it again. It just adds it to the end of the file. Alright. So this is the video, guys. Uh, what we've looked at today is uh, uh, two functions that will allow us to write file, uh, write data uh, to a file. Uh, the file path that we provide could be a string or buffer. The data could be a string or a buffer, and the options could be a string. If it is a string, uh, it's uh, specifying the encoding. Uh, if it is an object, you can provide a property for encoding, property for flag, and property for mode. Uh, with the asynchronous version, you can provide a callback that will do something after that file is done writing. And uh, if you are using the synchronous version, uh, you simply have to write it out and uh, uh, it will write the file for you. It doesn't return anything, it returns undefined. If there is an error, uh, it will simply blow up, but in the callback you have to handle your errors. Alright guys, so this is the video. Uh, please uh, uh, like uh, the videos and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. And uh, I guess I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.